Gentlemen, good to be with you. Uh, I don't know if you're feeling this around your house, a, a lot of tension. So if at any <laughs> point during, during this segment you want to take that out on me, I'm glad to be the punching bag. We've done it here before. Uh, I would also like to, to tell the viewers at home they can be punching bag. I can be a punching bag for them, too. I want to read you a quote I found out of the, uh, the YouTube comments, which I oh, read every great. single one of them. The other two are fine. But Salazar has, quote, the most punchable face. Well, <laughs> accurate. Accurate. 100%. <laughs> All right, let's get into uh, the brass tacks that we came to talk about today. Uh, first thing on the agenda, Raul Jimenez linked to Real Madrid. Now, Herc, I know uh, you don't think the source on this one, Don Ballon in Spain, is, is up to oh, your journalistic God. standards. Uh, but I'm we'll talk about yours. it. Yeah. We'll look, okay, we'll talk about it anyway. Uh, Alejandro, you watch as much as La Liga as anybody I know. Uh, is Raul Jimenez, for as good as he is, and you know I love him, ready for a move to... The short answer to that, Sevi, is no. Look, Raul Jimenez has been outstanding for Wolves, and I mean he has been outstanding. Anything and everything that they've done in the final third has gone through Raul Jimenez. He's scoring goals. He's running with the ball. He's running without the ball. He's getting in behind. You see the growth and maturity of a player. He has found a home consistency. He's beloved at Wolves. If you're Raul Jimenez and you look where you are right now and where you have been in your career, you find now in Wolves a place that you not only you can call home, but it's a place in which you found consistency and productivity. This is where you've grown. This is where you've matured. If you decide to go to Real Madrid, if indeed this is true and there is an option for you to go to Real Madrid and you think to yourself, oh, Real Madrid. Yes, everybody wants to go to Real Madrid. But here's the thing. If Raúl Jiménez goes there, even if you're the biggest fan of Raúl Jiménez, Sebastián Salazar, he's going to go there to sit down, to get very, very comfortable on the bench and to spend some quality time on the sideline. If that is that what he wants to do at his point in his career, I would think it's a, uh, it's a no-go for Raúl Jiménez. Stay where you are and enjoy what you're doing with Wolves in the Premier League. Herc, you agree? Jiménez is not ready for it? I don't know if it's about not being ready for it, but why would he want to? I 100% agree with Alejandro when he, what he's saying about uh, he's going to be 29 in May. So you're not going to go to want to sit the bench at 29 to sit behind Karim Benzema, who's 32 years old right now, has so had a bit of a resurgence. You're going to want to go play. You're going to want to be the man. He's not going to be the man there. You've already found a brand of football in Spiritu de Santo system. And, and, and Wolves, that suits you. It's proven. And you've been effective against some of the best teams in the Premier League. Why leave that setup? Now, if it's a question about talent, I think he's a talented player. Is he more talented than Kareem Benzema? I don't think so. So, so why go? Why be the number two? Why play second fiddle when you can be the man where you're at or possibly go somewhere that's uh, better than where you're at but in the same type of football in the Premier League? Ale, let me throw another option at you from Spain, mm. and that's Barcelona. Herc has brought this up before. Um, I'm guessing you think Barcelona would be a better fit than Real Madrid based on what you just said for Raul Jimenez. Do you think it would be a good fit overall, though? The, the thing is going to be that for Barcelona or Real Madrid, Raúl Jiménez is not going to be the first option. Clubs like Real Madrid and Barcelona are going to go after the very best, after the top-tier talent. And whether we like Raúl Jiménez or not, I think we can all agree that he's not a top-tier talent. We're not talking about elite level. And so when Real Madrid is looking for somebody to come in and play in place of Karim Benzema, they're going to look at top-tier elite level. When Barcelona looks at who's going to be the next version of Luis Suarez, they're going to look at elite level. Raúl Jiménez is not there. So he can go to Barcelona, but he's going to play a bit part. He's going to be a secondary option. He's going to be a guy who plays Copa del Rey matches and, call, and, and plays a couple of games here and there in La Liga because they have so many games to participate in. But he won't be the guy playing up top for Barcelona, nor Real Madrid. I don't think he's at that level. He's a very good player, has had a great season. And I'm, I'm honestly, I've been impressed of what he has been able to do in the Premier League. But I think it's a big leap to say, you know what? Yes, he is going to be the focal point of the attack in the front line of Barcelona or Real Madrid. I don't think that's realistic. Ale, Barcelona's linked to Pierre-Emerick Yang. You don't think he's on that level? You think he managed a step below even Yang? 
Well, I have been on record in saying that I don't think Obama Yang is the option, should be the best option for Barcelona. I I don't think he matches their their style of play, nor do I think Raul Jimenez's style of play matches Barcelona. With Kike Setien, Barcelona is pass, 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 backwards, sideways, pass, backwards, sideways, and then a little bit of passing, and then a little bit of passing. It's never a team that threatens him behind. It's never a team that gives you diagonal move from the front player. He managed to be doing so very well on the counter with Wolves. Do you see Barcelona as a counter-attacking team? I don't think so. And so you look at the style, it really doesn't match whether that's Raul Jimenez or Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang for that matter. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.